Hey guys, this is a fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Um, sorry I've been away for quite a while. I was redesigning the site and a lot of other life stuff, but that aside, I'm going to try and get more of these out more frequently. Um, this tutorial is about removing the little watermark on an iStock photo, not photo quality wise, but just to get it off of there for your roughs so that when you use them in comps they don't have that watermark because a lot of times clients get hung up on the fact that there's a watermark on there so this is a quick little trick to just kind of mask the watermark um, by no means is this for stealing photos because it doesn't even look that great it's just enough to get the watermark off the low res versions so that said I'm just gonna take this photo here which is just standard if you hit download a comp um, it'll launch it into a, its own little tab here with this really long URL. That's important. I mean, you can just save it off this way, but if you hit download a comp, it'll load it up this way. So if I take that image and drop it in Photoshop, um, then I go back to this page here, and if you look in the URL, it says file thumbnail approve slash the file number then two then this iStock stuff if you change the two to a one it gives you this tiny version which has no watermark on it at all you copy that and then paste it over top of your existing photo and then do transform lock your uh, width and height here so that they're the same and set your width to 380 pixels which is the width of the original and that I guess if it's a um, portrait photo that won't be the case but just set it to exactly line up over top of whatever the original dimension is hit OK and now you have a version of the photo that's blurry but it doesn't have the watermark on top of a photo the version that isn't blurry that does have the watermark so then on on your layer that is blurry you apply a layer mask and then fill the layer mask with black. I just hit um, control backspace. Uh, it would be whatever the Mac equivalent is, like command backspace to fill. And then grab your brush, paint brush, and with white, just draw in your layer mask right over where those watermark parts are. So in this case, right over the eye stock photo part. Just like this. And you'll see that it's leaving, it's letting the blurry, unwatermarked version come through. So the result is you have, you're removing the watermark, but instead you're replacing it with just a slightly blurry version of the original photograph. So this does by no means look perfect, but by doing this, you can then look at the 100% version and it's either watermarked or not watermarked but with a tiny bit of blurring and I've found that this helps immeasurably for making your comps look better because it tends to not distract people from having that watermark on there but clearly it's not for stealing photos because these don't it doesn't improve it that greatly it's just for roughs and mock-ups so that's your tutorial um, you can follow me on Twitter for more of these at Twitter however you do it at fictionalhead or twitter.com slash fictionalhead um, or go to fictionalhead.com for more tutorials, updates, and all that good kind of stuff. Hope it was helpful.